Welcome back again to TRX's For the Love of the Run series. We're going to continue on this journey to make you a faster, more efficient, and more durable runner. This month really focusing on integrated lower body strength, posture, and we're going to add some pressing in. Once again, here with David Torrance, professional track athlete, sub four minute miler. Dave, can you talk a little bit about the need for lower body strength and why a runner would use upper body exercise to help with running? Yeah, so a lot of runners tend to be very quad dominant. And by utilizing these exercises to activate the posterior chain, you're going to see a runner being better able to be more powerful and more efficient. And then as for the upper body stuff, you know, being able to work on your torso and chest, even though it's not leg centric, it's still going to make you a more balanced and uh, strong runner. So that's what we're going to get into. We're going to do some foundational movements around lower body, really activating the posterior chain on the squat and using that press to keep the core nice and tight so you don't collapse toward the end of the run. All right, this first move or this first exercise is one of my favorite mobility stash strengthening exercises. Dave, we're going to do a squat, but we're going to do it from the bottom up. So I want you to grab both handles, stand facing the anchor point, walk yourself back, elbows about 90 degrees, get yourself in a nice, just tall standing position here. Good. Hide those ribs. Good. Now let yourself go back like you can do a nice easy row. And now just get to the floor any way that feels comfortable or uncomfortable. So typically when people go into this movement here, you can see a little bit too much flexion in the spine and not enough uh, dorsiflexion at the ankle. Your posture is actually a little bit too good. I want you to get ugly for a second. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm used to seeing. So the first cue we're going to do is just have you come to a nice open chest and tall spine. Tall, tall, nice, nice. And that actually got you to rock forward into those ankles a little bit. I want you to pull yourself forward into those ankles a little bit more. And if you need to walk forward a little bit, that's fine. We want you to find a nice posture here at the bottom. Good. Now I want you to get into a position where you feel like if I were to come by and cut the strap, you might not fall backwards. Not bad there. Give me a broader chest. Nice. So that's a nice bottom of a squat position. So now I want you to take your hands from that bicep curl position and turn it into a tricep press as you stand yourself up. Push it up, good. Full extension at the top, lock those arms out, good. Nice strong active plank here. Lean back, squat down, tall spine, rock yourself forward. Own this bottom position for a second, nice tall chest. And now, good, this tension in the straps is helping unload his body for a nice looking squat and it also gives him some reflexive core stability. Come up into the tricep press, and now let's just pattern it from here. I want you to go down, good, down, drive up, full extension to the top, good, and relax. Nice little general mobility warm-up. Warm We're gonna go into our Terex hamstring runner. So I'm gonna have you stand, or have you get on the ground facing the anchor point. And now you're just gonna put two fingers in the bottom of the foot cradles, wider than your body, roll back, drop both heels in at the same time. Excellent, and now straighten out those legs. Good, head back. And a quick check, back of your head and middle of your shoulder blades, your spine's on the floor, tailbone's on the floor. Put your toes to your nose, drive your heels away from you as far as you can. Now lift those hips up, good. Now I want you to level that belt line, good. Don't arch that back too much, good. Now I want you to feel like you're driving that right leg away from you and pull that left leg in. Don't let there be any sawing, good. Extend back out. Now drive the left leg away from you, good. Out, come back down, good. So the key here is to not get things going really fast. Just make sure we're locking in the core and getting good hip mobility. Bring those hips, those feet out. Let's go to a chest press. So go ahead, grab the handles, stand facing away from the anchor point, walk yourself in. And the whole thing is about stance and start here. So I want you to walk those feet back a little bit more. Have your feet together, get up on the balls of your feet, and now get rid of those wrists. Nice. Now give me a nice strong active plank. I want you to pull those shoulders down and back. Good. I want you to hide that rib cage. Good. And bring that belt line back. So that's good posture. The only thing is, it's too easy for you, dude. You're like world class. I want you to take a couple steps back, even a little bit more. Nice. Now let's find that posture again. Pull those shoulders down a little bit. Good. Hide those ribs, level that belt line. Don't think of it as a press. Think of it as a moving plank. Bring those elbows to the side like you're elbowing someone next to you right there and come back up. Good, exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way down. I want you to quickly reset that belt line at the bottom. Up, ah, right, you gotta do one more rep. You sagged in the middle there a little bit, yes. Lock it in, shoulders away from your ears. Last rep here. Last chance to be good. Last chance to be great. Bring it back up, good. Lost a little bit, let yourself step out of it. Lost that posture just a little bit so we go back and we work on getting that plank moving. We didn't have you take a step out. But the whole idea here is to make sure we're building up that core stability so as you start to run, that torso is not gonna break down. So that was our great sequence for this week. Make sure you check back to trxtraining.com slash running for more TRX tips and workouts.